Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my May Booktuber shoutout. So as always, I have 10 channels here I'm going to shout out. They're all linked below. Feel free to go through and check them out and to hit the subscribe button if you enjoy them. No need for any further ado, so we'll get started with channel number one, which is Mark Allard Will. So Mark is really more of an author tuber than a book tuber. Uh, he uh, runs Cuckoo's Nest Press, which is a Canadian publisher. They do a lot of graphic novels and stuff. He's also the author of uh, Saskatchewan Man. But um, Mark recently interviewed me for his Quarantine Read series of interviews, and he's done a whole series of these with different authors, and has been posting the videos to his channels. So if you want to, you know, get to know some new indie authors and stuff, I de definitely recommend checking those out. Up next we have Burner's Bookish Adventures, so this is a new discovery for me and we got talking I believe it was about Agatha Christie and um, and yeah I checked out her channel and she had a few videos on that. Various other topics as well, to be honest I haven't really had a chance to go through her back catalogue yet but she's a really nice really approachable person and I uh, just wanted to pay it forwards and to sort of say a bit of a thank you for checking out my channel and uh, go check out hers. Up number three we have Mark Nash, so Mark Nash is both a booktuber and an author tuber and uh, I particularly wanted to shout him out because I think it was through his channel that I heard about uh, the book Transcript by Heimrad Bakker, which is like a found poetry based on Nazi transcriptions of the Holocaust. It's really haunting but very beautifully written, very well done and a stunning book so I'd recommend the book. But I'd also recommend Mark's channel and uh, at some point I want to read one. At number four we have The Archives, so this is uh, Graham Quigley's channel, he's changed the name and rebranded etc. He's a Scottish booktuber. Um, and because of that he likes Irvin Welsh which is always good but yeah he reads a pretty wide variety of different stuff done a few buddy reads with him in the past including uh, Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda and uh, June as well as June Messiah actually so yeah Graham's a good guy and he's currently refusing to shave or get a haircut until the end of the, the this nonsense as he calls it so um, yeah go and check out his impressive scruffiness although he still scrubs up nicely in a suit Next we have Mindy's Book Journey, so Mindy is a booktuber I've been watching for years now, she's just super chill, super friendly, always supportive of me but also she's very supportive of like the horror community and indie horror authors, women in horror, that kind of thing and um, just yeah, generally really cool person to go and check out. Then we have Books Are Us, uh, this is another relatively new channel to me so I can't really remember any specific videos to shout out but um, yeah, another great channel in terms of production quality, friendliness, approachability, all of that stuff you want. I don't know, I mean other people might want to know what specific kinds of books people read, but I, I, I don't really care. I'm, I'm in it more for the personalities because I read a wide, wide uh, genre of books. I'm guessing if you follow me then, same is true of you, so yeah. Up next we have Brad Proctor. Brad reads his fair share of horror as well as just, again, a bit of everything. Um, there's a theme in these channels, you might have noticed. Brad's a super chilled out guy, I've been watching his channel for maybe, I don't know, six months now. It's hard to tell because after a while, you know, time just blurs together. Uh, you see people like, will say, oh, I haven't done any videos in this series for six months. And I'm like, oh, well, it feels like two weeks. But yeah, Brad uh, and I tend to have a little chat about the different books we're both reading because there's a lot of overlap there. And he's just always, always cool, always fun to talk to. Up next we have the fabulous Sean the Book Maniac, um, he's a very charismatic booktuber and uh, he reads really quite obscure stuff I would say. Mark Nash is kind of the same, they, they pick out this really cool like literary stuff that I haven't heard of and that doesn't really get enough um, enough airtime on booktube. But you know, he'll, uh, he'll read the odd mainstream book as well, but what he does do is he's very very honest with his thoughts. So. Um, yeah, maybe not one to go to if, if you know, if you're a little bit squeamish and you don't want to, you know, you wouldn't feel comfortable seeing your favourite book badmouthed or whatever, but Sean, Sean says it as it is, or at least how he sees it, and I've got a lot of respect for him for that. Then we have Mad Man Reads and Rocks. Ryan, he uh, had a birthday recently. It turns out he's much older than I thought he was, is because, uh, I don't know, I think it's the heavy metal and stuff. It keeps him perpetually young. Uh, his probably channel is probably one of the best ones for like musical soundtracks and stuff actually he posts like um, you get to see a lot of the, the stuff that he makes himself but also a lot of the music that he listens to uh, I haven't been able to do it as much recently because of one thing and another but he used to do a lot of stuff you know different halls from his library including movie reviews he's got a, a pet dinosaur called Fergie is it Fergie? I think it's Fergie so yeah very like idiosyncratic weird channel and that's why I love it and speaking of idiosyncratic and weird, finally we've got Night Fear, who um, you know is a pretty good friend of mine on BookTube. Does uh, again a wide variety of stuff. Participates in quite a lot of community stuff, which is cool. 
Uh, kind of has a, a leaning towards horror, but again, she'll read a little bit of everything, um, and we'll always, you know, get back to you if you drop a comment to her. And um, yeah, she's a lovely, cool part of the community, an excellent human. So there we have it. Those are my main booktube shoutouts. As always, all of these channels are linked. Up below. next, we have Burner's Bookish Adventures. So this is a new discovery for me, and we got myself. talking. I believe like, it was about hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And, um, Let me know in the comments. And yeah, I shared that her channel and she had a few videos on that. Various other topics as well. To be honest, I haven't really.